And we've built on this over the last couple of weeks to really develop good potty training habits while they're in their play area. Whoops. Hey guys, Kat here from Standing Stone, and I wanna to talk to you about something that is very important to do with your puppies when you're working on potty training. So with all of our litters starting at four weeks old, puppies start to go outside to potty after meal times, and when we move them from their whelping box to their puppy playpen, we go outside to potty first. So we can start building those habits. So the Mako Arlo litter is actually six weeks old right now. I just ushered them all out to go potty, and I can supervise them here, and they're all playing, in the grass and going potty and taking care of business, but now it's time to bring them back into their play area, and I'm going to show you what that level of socialization looks like for our six-week-old puppies. So let me call these guys in. Come on, puppies! They do a really good job of listening and coming in. Come on, all the oh, come in. Come back. Uh. Big old goblin knew it was a trap. He didn't want to come in. Um, and then every time our puppies come in, they get an opportunity to get water. Anytime they go out, they get an opportunity to get water. And we've removed the water dish from in their playpen area. That way they're not playing in it, splashing around, making a giant mess, as well as we can, hey, come, come out. <laughs> come on. This way. Come on, Reese. There's your water bucket. <laughs> was on the inside trying to get to the outside um, but then they can have access to water multiple times throughout the day without constant access to water which really helps us during the potty training phase um, between now and when they go home at eight weeks old so once they're done tanking up on water good puppies we can start leading them back into their playpen and they like to run around and explore the whelping facility a little bit, which is completely fine. I like really bold, confident puppies that don't have an issue going and exploring, seeing what's in here, um, and then coming back in here to play with their things when they're done drinking water. You guys tanked up. Yes. Okay. Let's go, guys. Inside. Good. You guys all look like water buffaloes now. Good job. Good hydrated puppies. Come on. Yes. Good job, guys. So I've got most of them back in. I'm going to close my gate. And then I'm going to go find my last two puppies. Come here, Dusty. And Lemon. We got Dusky and Lemon. So there's all seven of my little puppies. There you go. And what these guys get to do during inside playtime is play with toys. Uh, we've got a few new toys recently, so they're really excited to interact with those, as well as we have a coranda bed where they can hop up to take naps or sleep underneath it and just have fun entertaining themselves and playing on the coranda bed, under the coranda bed, and all of those things. And then we have one of the Cato board teeter-totters, which not every litter loves, but this litter really does. They crawl under it, they crawl over it, they teeter-totter without any issues. I think Goblin's gonna demonstrate for us real quick. And, oh, get up there, Hammer, help him out. But they play teeter-totter, somebody might get squished under one end and they wiggle themselves out. Um, and they have a great time playing on that as well. And all of this just really builds bold, confident puppies that are excited about their environment, interested in trying new things, uh, jumping on things, under things, teeter-tottering, and all of those experiences so that we see how bold these guys can be. Just one piece of the socialization step that we do here at Standing Stone Kennels. Now I know I could watch these little guys play all day, every day, and I bet you could too. So enjoy watching them play for a little bit and we'll see you in the next video.